Hey guys, Leah here. So I wasn't planning on doing it this way. I was planning on having a different guest every week, but my interview with Bob Bergen last week was so fabulous, I couldn't cut it to one interview. So it's now going to be three parts. So check it out. Here's part two with Bob Bergen. It's kept you in the game. That's kept you going. I don't have a college degree. I couldn't do anything else. Honestly, I, I, I love what I do. Um, I think Diversity is important mm -hmm. today in voiceover. Um, back when I got into the business, um, you had one demo. It was three and a half to five minutes, and it was a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. Today, everything is subdivided. Yeah. You have your, I mean, everyone needs a commercial demo. Okay. But if you do animation, you need an animation demo. If you want to do promos, it's a promo demo. Narration's a narration demo. Audiobooks is an audiobooks demo. And there's different kinds of audiobooks. I know people that have the children's book demo, the romantic novel demo. Oh, the medical school. Yeah, well, yeah. Pardon me, actors, if you happen to be watching, but you know it's true. Actors are not the world's greatest business people. No, we're not. Wonderfully, oh, I'm not saying you don't. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> but wonderfully creative, and, and they may be motivated, and they may have charisma, and, right. and the camera loves them, the mic loves them, but they don't have a, a business plan. They don't have a. They don't take the, their career and look at it as a corporation that needs to be branded and nurtured and marketed. And it does. I mean, no. We have hearts. We're emotional, creative beings, and our hearts mm -hmm. are sometimes even bigger than other people's hearts. So is that kind of that's helped you along in the long hauls? Have you always had that business-minded sense to it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I, and I'm not I mean, a, obviously so. You're a teenager and you're going through phone books looking for I've never been names. to business school. I've never been to, um, I've never studied marketing, but I take that back. I did. I, I took marketing classes and uh, some, some college extension classes, but I took a class on how to be an agent once because I wanted to know what my agent did. Yeah. I mean, Literally, physically, what do they do as an agent for my career? And I learned it's a lot, and I gained a lot of respect for agents, and I realized I could never be one because I don't have, I don't have it in me to be a mommy, a daddy, a, an attorney. Yeah. Every board. Uh, I have I've a, noticed that. Yeah, yeah. I've got a fantastic uh, agent in New York, Atlas. Um, I'm with CESD out here, mm -hmm. and in between I've got other agents. So. Um, and I don't think that's something that um, most actors, at least, those of us in the beginnings of our careers know. You, you feel like you get an agent, you get your agent in L.A. and you're good, but you should have agents mm -hmm. in all the other major cities, and it's not against the law or it's not, you know, well, politically so it incorrect to So do. it depends on, on the agents. You need to be upfront with everybody. Okay, I have it, like, if you have a Los Angeles agent, if you want to have an agent in San Francisco or San Diego, yeah, well, no, you can't. No, you okay. can't, but you have to talk to them about it. Everything should be on the up and up. And, you know, my rule of thumb is L.A. is the mothership. And if, it, if it's from an L.A. production company, I don't give it to anybody else. Right. And very, you know, if you put a dollar sign on success, yeah. you will never feel successful. I, I, used to, I used to go, gosh, I just want an audition somewhere. I just want a callback. I just want a job. I want double scale. I mean, <laughs> there's always a step up the ladder. There's I can be that. one step ahead of everybody else. I've always wanted to be at least at the playing level of what the next big thing is, mm -hmm. and then try to be one step ahead of that if I can. I never know if I am, but I think it's what keeps people all <laughs> steps up the ladder. But while you're taking those steps, you really got to love that trip because if you don't, it's going to pass you by. All of a sudden, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be overwhelming. There are tremendous disappointments. Um, you got to learn from the disappointments. You can't own the disappointments, but you also can't own the accolades. You know, right. when something's really good, right. you can't go, aren't I brilliant? You have to go, that was so much fun. I'm blessed. Right. Thank you. Bless you.